Oh, lost the puck, it comes back to the line. Left side, Bedard fakes the shot. Looks for a seam. Left boards, Bedard now looks the boards bottom of the left circle, feeds it across the slot, and that one went off the skate of Suzdalev. Off Miller's body and back out to center ice. Pats will have to regroup. Here's Bedard over the Edmonton line. Right circle trying to dance his way to the net. And they score! <laughs> Dallas! Great pass by Bedard! Connor Bedard dances his way through the Edmonton defense, dishes it off to Vallis, and he snipes it into the back of the net for a sixth of the season. It's 2-0 Pats. They score on the power play five minutes into the first period. Well, Bedard was attacked one on four, entering the Edmonton zone. He's able to make a nifty move. Aremba off the boards and near the bench. Could be too many men on the ice, but it now comes all the way down the ice for Bedard. He's on a breakaway. Great save by Garrity. Rebound blocked in front. Aremba couldn't get it home. Still lose Bedard to the net. Scores! Scramble in front, Connor Bedard is able to power his way to the net. He puts it into the open cage to give the Pats a 3-2 lead with 1.36 to go in the second stanza as he picks up his 14th of the season. Yeah, Remba's turnaround shot after the breakaway opportunity was stopped. Great work by Remba to throw the puck towards the front of the net and a slight little pass by Brook battling against McKenzie to the side of the goal, was able to sweep it across for Bedard to deposit it into the yawning cage. Who's the left? Cross ice feed for Bedard, takes it over the Edmonton line, right circle, looks to the net, sends it off the boards to the point. Sfuzel to Bedard, top of the right circle. Now to Suzdalev, near side. Tied up along the right boards and it's cleared out by Robson. Sim out of his net finds Bedard and here comes the North Vancouver product to center. Trying to find a seam through the defense. To the net, Bedard shoots in a high save. Rebound in front, it's still loose. And how comes up with it. Back to the line, Bedard. A long shot and a blocker save by Garrity. Now back to five on five hockey. Vallis centers, one-timer, scores! Alexander Sustelev. It's 5-2 Pats with 16.41 to go in the third period as Alexander Sustelev. Did he really try to sell that? Like, I, I'm, I'm puzzled. I really am. Arm went up in the air quite late. Marshall Finney, two minutes for high sticking. That's Finney, two minutes high sticking. And to the Regina Pats, number 11, Stanislav Sozel, two minutes. Kept in at the line by Brown on his back end, gets it to Bedard near the point. Little drag move, top of the left circle. Pass across the slot, it's loose, stuck in skates. Bedard, wrist shot, and that one's blocked. Left side, Bedard back to the line for Brown. Penalty on the play, another delayed call. Vallis in the slot, wrist shot, scores! <laughs> Second of the game for Boria Vallis, 6-2 pads as he answers on the power play. 14-11 to go in the third period of play. The Pats are in flight. Well, tic-tac-toe, it ends up into the back of the net. Brown holds it in at the top of the point. Of course, no spools along the ice for the power play. Works it across the Bernard. Now to Bedard, high slot, waiting. Down low, one-timer over the net by Suzdalev, and it's batted away by Goddess. I got a piece of the crossbar. Wow. Suzdalev, let it rip. Pats have just exploded here in this third period with three goals. Four unanswered now for the Pats, since a 2-2 tie in the second. Here's Bedard busting through the Edmonton defense, right side looking to the net. Around the goal, left circle centered across, Suzdalev, Back to the line for Brown, fakes the shot. Left side, Bedard, he'll have it. Across to Suzdalev, right circle. Back to the line, Brown to Bedard. Left side, one-timer, kick save by Garrity. Bedard back to the line. Brown in the slot, Vallis scores! First career hat trick! Boria Vallis, his first career hat trick, and Regina has a 7-2 lead with 12.06 to go in the third period. Well, similar to his last goal moments ago, it's Bedard up top for Brown, right to the far face-off circle. Vallis handles the pass, has enough time to turn around and fire it past Gagarty, and it's an onslaught, and there's one hat on the ice. Fans here at the Brant Center realizing 
It will not be a power play goal, and it's 7-2 Regina, and it's a five-point night for Bedard. Owned by Bedard, a reverse check on McKenzie. That's the initial penalty. And then Bedard and Melnick tie up in front of the benches. And I'm not, I wouldn't be shocked if Tanner Howe's going to be called for a penalty here. Yeah. Could be a spear right 